Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing of this Zigbee Smart Getaway. Connected with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, connect with Zigbee Smart Products. This is a bridge and control center for your smart homes. Connect to your router, enables communication with a cloud and mobile app. And then allowing to the users easily view and control various smart devices in the home that use the Zigbee protocol. To work that you need 5 volt 1 amp adapter and let's open it to see how it looks and how we can work with that. We've got some manuals inside. If you want to read it, it's your choice, but stay with me, you can find out all about this product. And the cable. Type A to micro USB. It's about 30 centimeters. Here we've got the in for the micro USB. Switch and reset key. This is a blue LED for the Zigbee status indicator and this is a red LED for the Wi-Fi status indicator. Not more to see, some rubber for the other side to prevent any movement. And let's connect it to see how it works. And of course, you can connect it into your power bank. And there we can see the red and the blue LED. Now, one of the devices that you can connect and I have it is this temperature and humidity sensor. It cannot work by itself. You cannot connect it to your uh, router. You need this uh, hub. And other accessories, they are using this hub. Other smart devices, alarm, lights, sensor switches. Now, you need the Smart Life app. I already downloaded it. I have other devices. Let's go add manual, getaway control, wireless getaway Zigbee. Next. Confirm indicator rapidly blinking. Next. Now, if it didn't connect, switch to pairing mode. Next. Yes. Confirm indicator slowly blinking. Yes. Go to connect. Choose the Smart Life C70C. Keep Wi Fi. Go back. And yes, there we are, the Zigbee wireless getaway, and done. Add a sub device. We need to add a sensor, LED already blinking. And now I'm going to push for five seconds the sensor, and we can see it's blinking. Oh, now it's blinking here. Okay, here we are. One device has been successfully added. Done. Temperature and humidity sensor. Done. And now, if I push here, I can see the temperature and the humidity. What it says here, it says end into my smartphone. I can see the battery. I can see notice, low battery warning. Okay, done. History. We've got a diagram with a history of the humidity and the temperature sensor. Nice. Well, that was all about, guys. And for other devices, let's see what we can add. Add a sub device. More devices, a set methods. Let's see what other devices. You can see here there are many devices that you can add. Whoa. <laughs> many devices, yeah. Switch, breaker, cut switch, wireless uh, switch. Uh, Scenario switch, search, curtain switch, switch, power strip, socket, lighting, uh, wow, emergency button, heat detector, vibration sensor, smoke detector, gas sensor. There's a variety of devices that you can add. Nice. Well, guys, that was all about this uh, Zigbee getaway. You can see what it can do with what devices it can connect. If you want, you can check in the right in the corner and uh, my video for this humidity and sensor that I've made in the past. And with all that, guys, this is the end of the video. If you need something like that uh, to your place, uh, you can check down below the description all about this product and where you can buy it. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like it, like my video is your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.